and have the parents fight among each other. Get to the point. The reason we persevere is because we really want to create schools that are engaging, compelling, academically rigorous, joyful places. And so we go through, I'm not, I'm not criticizing anyone else. I, I have a kid in district, I have a kid in charter. I don't like one more than the other. All I like is really great schooling and to give parents options. So I'm going to try and tell you about the school design. We'll try one more time, but you, you have to understand that, that the man to cancel the meeting because I can't shout over her uh, and so forth. So a little bit by way of background, uh, I went through the New York City school system myself in the 1970s. Uh, it was not very good then. My, I'm a second generation struggler to find a great school. So I remember very distinctly my parents saying, what are we going to do? I went to District 5 schools. Uh, I remember it as a child, the anxiety and the tension around finding a good school. And then when I became a parent, my husband and I had to do the same thing. And there are great traditional public schools in the city, but you can live one block away and you're not in the zone, or you can have a particular circumstance. I have three children and one school could serve them all. So sometimes, even if you have a great school, it's not great for all three children. So I was an elected official. Uh, as you may know, I was chairwoman of the education committee, and I worked as hard as I could to improve the system. And, you know, I made a very small dent after seven years of working incredibly hard. I had hearings on every imaginable subject from literacy to art to special ed, school safety. I even had uh, a hearing on toilet paper. How did we have a $24 billion budget? And yet there wasn't toilet paper in the New York City school system. No topic was too small or too large. I was trying to figure out how do we do significantly better than we've done. And, they are and so, so uh, I decided that I was going to give up my seat in the city council uh, and run for higher office because I had given on some of the special interests in New York City, specifically the teachers union. They came after me with a vengeance. Um, and I decided that, that I was tired. If you do not interrupt, do not interrupt. You're talking about yourself. Why don't you start with that? You're talking about your school. We don't need to hear your back story. Even the people who support you are waiting to hear you start talking about the school. Thank you. Well, if you want to talk about what you have, how much money do you make? How much you make off as a CEO? If you want to talk talking about money, it's about yourself. All right, you know what? Because you really don't want to come here and talk to us. No, I, I look, it's not really possible. I want to apologize to the parents. All you're doing is pitting everybody against each other, and that's usually your game. Playing the game. There's a lot of shouting. There's not, people are interrupting me. I got kissing. Well, get to the point. That's what we're waiting on. I'm going to stop you talking. I don't want to hear about your story. I want to hear about the school. Yes, we have a private house party meeting as well coming up. All the parents can go there to the private house party.